die. <laughs> <laughs> Between and they don't even. <laughs> hey, Sofa family, how's everyone doing? This week we're going to be doing a simple, practical, and decorative project. Dehydrating this fruit using a dehydration rack uh, built from harvested wood from the land. Some of the poplar trees that we cut down while we were clearing the land for the orchard is going to be the wood that we're going to use for this project. And by creating this rack, it's actually going to help us be better prepared for the food that we'll actually harvest from our garden in the fall. We're really looking forward to sharing this process with you, so let's go. Serious bolts, eh? Did you just say A? Eh? <laughs> I'm Canadian now. <laughs> Watching too much Canadian on YouTube. Yeah. 91. Yeah, okay. Four inches, right? pegs that have been coming out of the wall that's going to support the main drying rack area. Got our sticks all sanded, draw knifed, ready yep. to go. Now we can use them what they're intended for. Fight! Huh. I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> ready to go. We're going to go in and make a natural stain using what? Coffee. Coffee. When making a stain out of coffee, you want to make the coffee extra concentrated. So we saw that the ratio is about six to one cup. So six, that would be six tablespoons to one cup of coffee. So we got about 12 in here. And we're gonna brew this coffee and then we're gonna let this sit overnight. And tomorrow we'll strain it out. See how it is tomorrow. And if we need to add more to darken it up, we will. So bad. Oh man, babe. I know. We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna die. We got snowfall. <laughs> it's actually beautiful. We haven't really seen snow in years, so this is cool. You know I'm ready for snow. <laughs> you ready for the snow? <laughs>
all that protection on my face and what good did it do me? <laughs> <laughs> How's my face look? <laughs> like a Santa beard. Santa beard? <laughs> well, I am the off-grid gnome. You look a lot older. Oh, it's a pretty color. It really is. <laughs> It does big things to this room. <laughs> this color. <laughs> So this is our first attempt at using coffee as a stain. We this has been like my first attempt at staining anything in like forever since <laughs> high school. <laughs> well, we're gonna see how this works. Hopefully, turns out what we were expecting. Yeah, we put it in this cup here. We do love the color of the wall we painted though. We love the Kita. The dog the, just barded. The dog just barded. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Let's try. It said a few coats, right? Oh yeah. Up to like six, probably. We're not trying to drastically change the color too, but we would want to darken it. Okay. Did you get it all? I did. Cool. So did. we're gonna let these sit for about an hour, maybe half hour, because we got it right next to the wood stove and it's really good at drying things, hence the drying rack here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna let this sit, see if we need to put another coat on it, which I think we do. Yeah, I think a couple more probably. A couple more, yeah. And get it to the color we want. And we'll complete this thing. Ah! Uh, <laughs> After six coats of coffee, we finally got our wooden pegs to the color that we want them. And now we are going to add some boiled linseed oil to seal the pegs to keep them protected. As and well. A nice shine. As well as the poles for the rack itself. Yeah, yeah, all the wood up there. That yeah. we've done in our little thingies here. <laughs> Did it say to be pretty generous? Yeah. It looks so nice. This will help seal and protect the wood. Awesome. It looks so pretty. You're not in frame right now. It looks so pretty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing now is just rubbing off the excess linseed oil off of the wood here and then letting it dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's good.
Yeah, I feel like that'll be a much better fit. Okay. I made a Pinocchio. <laughs> you did turn it sideways, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> So yesterday we attempted to use these little curtain rod kind of holders that I found at Home Depot as what was going to hold in our pegs in the wall. It didn't work. This wood is really soft and the screws were just pulling through. It wasn't good. So we fabricated our own. I think it looks better anyway. So I'm pretty happy about it. There we go. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did a, uh-oh, we thought we would cut, we used to have 12 inch pegs up there and we thought it was gonna be too much. We were, wor <clears throat> too long. We were worried about too being it too long and it like torquing down with any weight. So we, we shortened them. Not remembering that we had them exactly 12 inches for a specific reason. Yeah, because the length of those it was supposed to hang underneath on each side as such. But now you can see it doesn't fit. They have like a whole foot. Uh, I can put it in between and they don't even fudge. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So we have to make new these. We're going to be so much smarter at the end of it because look we at will. what stuff we've learned. We have, we have learned a few things and I'm pretty proud of what we've done so far. So. Me too. Yeah, I guess revamp in the morning. Dang it, we were planning on going hard tonight until we got this done. I know. Oh well. But we can't cut wood outside right now. It's too no. dark. But you're all going to be excited when you see this finish. It's going to be awesome. Oh. Yeah. All, all right. right. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Try again tomorrow. Your plants are definitely going to be happy. Yes, they're going to be. <laughs> they like that they get to come out and get in the sun. That's the nice thing about high and mild winters. Yeah. This morning, Sean and I woke up early and went and got uh, some new sticks because last night's catastrophe. So he went out, cut them cut, sanded them down, took the bark all off, got it prepared for us for today. And if you can see, here's the other stick. So this is by how much our measurement was off when we made our error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty big <laughs> yeah but that's okay we got it the remedy here and what we're going to do now is get these stained so that they match what we have going on and we're going to get some rope cut and sewed so that we can get these home you think that's good yeah. Yeah, I think that looks lovely. I do too. All right. I think it looks really lovely. Yeah. See the difference in one coat of coffee stain versus unstained? Looks great. And Does... that other log is six coats. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. It's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good now.
Good job. Let's hope it works good. Yeah. Need to go through that other end more. It's only like a, it's a little bit hanging out. Okay. <laughs> Alright, since we are going to actually be putting this to use and drying fruit on it, we um, need to create a basket space. And this is the basket that we have. And the holes in this basket are a little too big to let, you know, flies and any little Insects. fruit flies or anything that could get in here to land on the food. So we are going to line the inside of this basket with um, some screen, and we're gonna can, uh, stick that down with food grade silicone so that it's safe and create a barrier, yeah. a bug barrier yeah. for our fruit basket. You can probably wrap that around again, just like this one, so it matches that one. It's awesome, actually. It's awesome. It's nice. I like it. What does everyone think? We built this. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's awesome. The first thing we've ever really built, like, with wood. Yeah, you did a good job. I think so. I love you. Now that we have our dehydration rack together, we are going to test it out by drying some of these fruit. Selection, apples and pears. Sorry, apple seeds. Just getting sliced in half. It's a pretty good night. Now that I have the fruit slice, I'm going to dip them in a mixture of lime juice and water. That just prevents the discoloration of the fruit when it dries to keep it from turning brown. You'll notice some skin on these, but if you leave the skins on, you get more nutrients. So if you're doing this for nutritious value, it's best to leave the skin on. If you're doing it just for a sweet and snack value, you can remove the skins.
hopefully we can eat these in a few days. <laughs> so, so I'm excited too. <laughs> this floral tea. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. So everyone, we really apologize for how long it took to get out this video. We ran into every <laughs> every issue that is humanly possible to have happened. Yeah. Anything that could have happened, happened. That's true. Yeah, we, the simple drying rack turned into having to redo the whole wall because we found a leak in the roof and it ran down the whole back of the RV. Yeah, I went the whole length. Yeah, and, the leak. and then the weather, it didn't stop raining or snowing, so I couldn't get up there to fix it. And we didn't want to do this drying rack with the wall still leaking. So we apologize, but we finally got it all fixed, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm very proud of it. And we have our fruit drying. Yeah. <laughs> what do you it's think of the, the style? Like, me and Jess have very similar decorative styles, and I think, we're, what are we going for? What do we call it? Woodland hippies, right? Woodland hippies, yeah. That's our style, woodland hippie. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, but we had a, we did finally get this done, and we're really excited for some upcoming projects that we have coming, or that we're planning on doing. Now that the roof, and I've had to repair the roof, we don't want to have a rainwater collection collecting water off of some of the things I had to put on the roof to seal it. So we're going to move it, which gives me an opportunity to do a uh, much needed upgrade to the rainwater collection system. So I'm excited for everyone to see that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be good. And we also have a pretty big collaboration with another channel coming up that's going to be really informative and something that we really need to learn. And I'm really, really excited. ready to share that with you guys. Yeah. Really um, ready. It was going to happen this week, but it's, it's been pushed back another week or two. But when it happens, I think you're all going to really like that episode too. So. Well, everyone, again, sorry for the wait. We love you. We will try and get this next video out as soon as possible, too. Mm -hmm. Remember, Soul Fit Family? Until next time. Keep growing. Keep growing. I love you. I love you, too. All right, guys. And a quick note. Thank you to our friends at Straight, uh, Straight Out of Homestead Holler for sending us these amazing tea blooms. They're, yeah, we really like them. We love them. They're so cool. Yes, very cool. <laughs> All right, Thank everyone. You so much. Good night. Good night. <laughs>